Hey, what's up guys, Patrick, and this is Guide to Elemental Workshop 4, and on screen right now are the items you need for this quest, all which are self-explanatory. To start the quest, go to the Sorcerer's Tower, which is the building circle in yellow on this map. Search this bookcase to get a notch book, accept the quest, and read the book. Head to the building in Sears Village, circle in yellow on this map. Use your knife on the whetstone to make a keyblade. Open the odd looking wall and climb downstairs. Go into a room to the west, mine an elemental rock, and kill it to get an elemental ore. Uh, then do this one more time. Head into a room to the south with the furnace and use the two elemental ores on the furnace to make two elemental bars. Climb down the hatch in the very middle. Place an elemental bar in the jig guard to the south. Pull the nearby western lever twice. Pull the nearby eastern lever once. Pull the nearby western lever twice. Pull the nearby eastern lever once. Pull the nearby western lever twice. Pull the lever to move the jig cart and wait for the jig cart to stop. When the cart stops, pulls the lever to northwest. Pull the lever to move the jig cart and wait for the jig cart to stop. Go to the water tank area. Pull the nearby lever in the middle. Turn the corkscrew lever twice. Pull the nearby lever in the middle. Turn the western water valve. Turn the eastern water valve. Turn the eastern water valve. Turn the western water valve. Pull the nearby lever in the middle. Turn the corkscrew lever twice. Pull the nearby lever in the middle. Pull the lever to move the jig cart and wait for the jig cart to stop. When the cart stops, pulls lever to northeast twice. Pull the lever to move the jig cart and wait for the jig cart to stop. Take the prime bar from the jig cart and put your other elemental bar on it. Pull the nearby western lever twice. Pull the nearby eastern lever once. Pull the nearby western lever twice. Pull the nearby eastern lever once. Pull the nearby western lever twice. Pull the lever to move the jig cart and wait for the jig cart to stop. When the cart stops, pulls the lever to northwest. Pull the lever to move the jig cart and wait for the jig cart to stop. Go to the water tank area. Pull the nearby lever in the middle. Turn the corkscrew lever twice. Pull the nearby lever in the middle. Turn the western water valve. Turn the eastern water valve. Turn the eastern water valve. Turn the western water valve. Pull the nearby lever in the middle. Turn the corkscrew lever twice. Pull the nearby lever in the middle. Pull the lever to move the jig cart and wait for the jig cart to stop. When the cart stops, pulls lever to northeast twice. 
pull the lever to move the jig cart and wait for the jig cart to stop. Take the prime bar from the jig cart, then climb down the stairs in the northwest corner. Go to the southern end of the hallway. Use the keyblade on a door. Go into the first room to the east, and you have to solve a puzzle. There's a solution to the puzzle which I can give to you, but you still need to have a basic understanding of what to do, so let me explain that first before I give you the actual solution. There are three parts of the puzzle. The first part has to do with the emitters on the wall. As you might have already noticed, uh, some of the emitters already have runes in them. You have to use the right runes on the right emitters. Once again, I'll give you the solution later. The second and third part has to do with the control panel in the southeast corner. Click on it to operate it, and there are two things you have to adjust. First thing you have to adjust is the red sliders using the arrows. The second thing is the circles. Each circle corresponds to one of the squares within the area, which isn't that hard to figure out. For example, the circle on the top left, or A1, is the A1 square close to the door you came in from. The pillars have to be facing a certain way, which you determine by looking at the colors or the runes on the side of the pillar. Uh, clicking on the corresponding circle will cause pillar to rotate. Usually you don't have to rotate more than once. Actually, I'm pretty sure you never have to rotate more than once. Here is the solution to the first puzzle. In case you forgot, I list out the basic instructions, which I just explained to solve the puzzle. The runes that are inside the emitters are labeled. Uh, if they're not labeled, it just means you don't have to worry about those emitters. When you're done, click power up at the bottom of the controls. If you did it right, the pillar should disappear and then reappear with even more pillars. If you did it wrong, be sure to read the instructions and recheck everything. Here is a solution to the second puzzle. Uh, same thing as before, except with more pillars and more emitters. If you did it right, the pillars should disappear and then reappear with even more pillars. If you did it wrong, be sure to recheck everything. Here is a solution to the third puzzle. Uh, same thing as before, except with more pillars and more emitters once again. If you did it right, you get a message saying you power up the cosmic machine. If you did it wrong, be sure to recheck everything. Operate the draining machine in the southeast corner to get a cutscene. Use one of the prime bars of the machine and operate the control panel again. Then you have to do the third puzzle again. Uh, there's some things that changed, so recheck everything, then click power up. If you did it right, you get a message saying you power up the cosmic machine. If you did it wrong, be sure to recheck everything. Operate the draining machine with the prime bar inside to turn into a cosmic bar and take it. Go all the way back upstairs. Use a cosmic bar on a workbench and make cosmic gloves. Head all the way back down to the area you are in before. Go into a room to the southwest. Take the shabby book in the northwest corner and read it. You have to do another puzzle. Once again, I can give you the solution, but you need to have a basic understanding of how it works first. In the middle of the room is this machine with its little system of conveyor belts. Numerous cubes on the conveyor belts are commands. The goal is to get the right commands into the thing to the left, where I wrote enter commands slash flush CPU in red. Once again, I'll give you the solutions later. If you accidentally put in the wrong command, you can click on the thing to the left to flush the CPU. Um, you need two cubes for a full command. In order to get the cube into the thing, you have to put the cube you want in front of the, one of the two red things. 
it doesn't have to be at the same time, but they do have to end up on different sides because that thing on the left can only fit two cubes, one on each side. In the bottom left of the picture, you'll see a bunch of levers. The levers with the black and orange lines indicate which red thing the lever controls. Pulling the corresponding lever will cause the red thing to push the cube and said thing to the left. As for remaining four levers, you can move the conveyor belt uh, clockwise or counterclockwise to get the cube you want. Everything in yellow is clockwise and everything in green is counterclockwise. The numbers that I put under the lever indicate how many spaces the cube will move if you pull those levers. If this explanation is too confusing, I'll give you an example right now. So the very first command or cubes I have to get is get and nature. The cubes are labeled by the way, just hover your mouse over them. Here I'm using the levers to move the conveyor belt around to put the cubes I went in front of one of the red things. Remember, it doesn't matter which cube goes in first, and there's only two spaces in the thing you're pushing the cube into. It doesn't matter which space it ends up in, but the two cubes have to end up on different sides. Here I'm pushing the first cube using one of the two levers to the north. And now I'm moving the conveyor belt around again to get the second cube I need in front of the other red thing. And now I'm using one of the two levers to the north to push the second cube into the other side. Two cubes will come back out and you'll get a cutscene. I don't know what happens if you get it wrong, but you should probably double check before you pull levers for red things. Um, when you catch yourself putting in the wrong one by accident, just click on the place where the cubes go into to flush the CPU. Here is the diagram again. Hopefully you understand better this time. And the top left of the commands you need to put in, make sure you do it in this order, and remember to double check the cubes before you push them in. Or you should get a cutscene after each command. This blank token should be on the workbench. Click on it to carve it. Take the token from the workbench and use it on the broken astro token to north. Here is another set of commands you have to put in. Make sure you do it in this order, and remember to double check the cubes before you pull levers to push them in. You should get a cutscene after each command. The big robot should now be in the room directly to the south. Go in there and equip the cosmic gloves. Use the prime bar on the machine and operate it to make a chaos bar, then take the chaos bar. Go all the way back upstairs. Use the chaos bar on the workbench to make chaos boots, and that'll be in the quest. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you guys later. Peace.